Hello, my name is Dr. Christopher Hamilton. I'm a fellowship trained orthopedic surgeon at the Southern California Orthopedic Institute, and I specialize in arthroscopic and reconstructive surgery of the shoulder, elbow, and knee, as well as sports medicine. In this video, I will be discussing ACL injuries and treatment options available for the patient with an ACL injury. The anterior cruciate ligament, or ACL, is one of the four major stabilizing ligaments of the knee joint. It connects the femur or thigh bone to the tibia or the lower bone of the knee. It's about two to three centimeters long and is normally very strong. Its main function is to help prevent the tibia from sliding forward or anteriorly, as well as to prevent the tibia from twisting too far during rotational and cutting sports. It is one of the most commonly injured ligaments in the knee. Nowadays, it's hard to read the sports page without encountering an athlete with an ACL injury. ACL injuries can occur in athletes in a number of ways. Although contact injuries can occur where the knee is hit by another player from the side and twists, the ACL can be torn during sports or twisting activities with no contact whatsoever. In fact, most ACL injuries are non-contact, where the athlete cuts, but the knee fails to follow and the ACL is injured. The hallmark of an ACL injury is knee instability. Usually after an acute injury, there is acute pain, swelling, and feelings of instability or looseness around the knee. As the time goes on, the swelling goes down, and the range of motion in the knee may improve. At this point, the knee can look and feel almost normal until the patient tries to do athletic maneuvers or tries to stand and twist. At that time, the instability or feeling of shifting in the knee can come back. Patients have a hard time getting back to their previous activity level with an ACL injury. ACL injuries can be diagnosed in a number of different ways, including physical exam and history, and an MRI scan may be helpful to evaluate the status or integrity of the ACL, as well as other structures around the knee. Once an ACL injury has been diagnosed, there are a couple of treatment options. Initial treatment may focus on rehabilitation of the muscles around the knee to help provide as much strength and stability as possible. For low demand patients, this may be adequate, but many more active patients will still be unstable, and surgery to reconstruct or build a new ACL may be recommended. Some patients will do well with physical therapy or a brace. This may work for older, lower demand patients or patients with significant arthritis. More active patients will do better functionally with a reconstruction where a new ACL will be fashioned either from your tissue or from a donor graft. The graft choice depends on the surgeon and the patient together. Autografts from you and allografts from a donor both have excellent results. Common graft choices include the patellar tendon, hamstring tendons, or various allografts. Your surgeon will help you choose the graft that best fits you and will give you the best results with the lowest side effects. During surgery, tunnels or holes are drilled in the tibia and the femur using the arthroscope to assist in tunnel placement. The graft is then placed and secured with various fixation devices to help stabilize the knee and to allow rehabilitation. Also at that time, other injuries, such as injury to the menisci or cartilages or articular surfaces can be addressed and treated. These additional injuries may affect the rehabilitation protocols. Postoperative care often will depend on the other damages encountered in the knee. After surgery to reconstruct an ACL, there are a few things the patient should expect. Surgery is typically done as an outpatient, meaning that you will go home the same day. Often a general anesthetic supplemented with a local block will provide good pain relief. The surgery itself takes about an hour and a half or two hours, and the recovery time in the surgery center is about an hour more. Although surgery is arthroscopically assisted, it is still major reconstructive knee surgery. Patients will use crutches and often a brace for the first couple of weeks after surgery until pain improves. The brace may be necessary to protect both the graft as well as meniscal repairs. Occasionally a post-operative brace is not needed. Most patients begin home exercises immediately after surgery and begin formal therapy after the first postoperative visit, about seven to 10 days after surgery. Rehabilitation is key to successful outcomes after ACL surgery. 
Physical therapy will help decrease swelling, improve range of motion, and increase strength and function of the knee in a protected fashion. Eventually, patients will return to sports. Although we frequently get patients back to sports close to the six-month mark, the rehabilitation process continues, and patients often continue to improve for more than a year after surgery. An ACL tear can be devastating to an athlete. Fortunately, with present-day reconstructive techniques, we do a good job of getting athletes back on the field. The rehabilitation after surgical ACL reconstruction is often as important as the surgery itself, and the best rehabilitation actually starts before surgery. This includes both mental and physical preparation for an ACL reconstruction. Most patients do very well after reconstruction, and over 90% of patients return back to sports and athletics. The same dedication and hard work that allows an athlete to be successful in his sport will help carry them through the recovery process. To learn more about ACL injuries and treatment options, please visit our website at www.scoi.com. Thank you for your attention.